Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna compare two of the hottest phones out from Sprint right now. You got the Samsung Galaxy S3, and you got the HCC Evo 4G LTE. Now these are the two hottest phones out from Sprint right now. First off, let me start by saying this. Now if you're on the fence and you don't know which one to get, whichever one of these phones you pick, you automatically win. Both of these phones are top of the line. I'm rating both of them a 10. Both of them got the newest software, the newest features. Both of them are automatic wins. But some people like build quality better. Some people like more features. Some people like this. Some people like that. Whatever. So what I did was I broke it down into a couple of categories. And we'll talk about that real quick. Now as usual, y'all know I ain't going to beat you in the head with a whole bunch of specs and all that. We're just going to keep it with real world topics. So let's get right into it. First off, let's talk about the price. Now if you walk up in Sprint without a contract and you just want to buy the new S3 or you want to buy the Evo, both of them going to run you $550 plus tax. So that's $550 for the S3, $550 for the Evo. Now keep in mind the S3 comes in 16 gig or 32 gig. So if you get the 32 gig, it's going to be like an extra $60, $75 or whatever. But the base model $550, the Evo $550. So when it comes to price, both the same price. Next, now what I will do, I will talk about a little bit of specs, but not too much. Both of them have 1.5 gigahertz dual core processors. Both of them run really smooth, really fast. The two best Android phones that I ever use yet. But when it comes to the specs department, I gotta give it to the S3. The S3 has two gigs of RAM. The Evo has one gig of RAM. Now I'm not gonna get all into you know what that means and all that, but basically when you multitasking and you're opening apps up, the two gigs of RAM, you feel it. Trust me. Now I had both of these phones from day one, I've been rocking both of them as my main numbers. Trust me, when it comes to the spec department, the S3 wins with that two gigs of RAM. It makes a difference and you feel it. So I'm going with the S3 for the spec department. Next, let's talk about Bill. Which one has the better Bill? Well, hands down, I'm going with the Evo in the Bill department. Now I'll take the case off so you can get a look, if, just in case you've never seen this before, but Evo has the kickstand on the back, has the dedicated camera button, has that smooth, shiny feel to it. Has the metal trim around the sides. So when it comes to the build quality, the Evo definitely wins. Definitely. One thing I will say about the S3 though, I wasn't feeling that first, but the home button. The home button is a major, major go. I love the home button now. I really wasn't too big on it that, you know, at first it took me a, you know, a couple of minutes to get used to, but now I live on the home button. And I, what I like about the home button is it wakes up the phone. So a lot of times when you grab the phone in your pocket, just press the home button, you can just wake it up like that. So the home button on the S3 is a go, but overall build, I'm going with the Evo. Next, let's talk about battery. Which one has a better battery? Well, the Evo has a 2000 milliamp battery, and the S3 has a 2100 milliamp battery. So extra 100 on the milliamps. So you got 2000, you got 21. But when it comes to battery, I'm gonna have to go with the S3 because not only does it have a 2100 milliamp battery, you can also remove the battery. So regardless of this, if this is 2000 and lasts all day, which it does, as soon as it dies, if you don't have another, you know, if you don't have a charger, if you don't have my charger or whatever on you, then you asked out. But when you got the S3, you could always pop the battery off and put whatever you have in, in, you know, in your pocket. If you have an extended battery or if you have a regular battery, just you know, switch and put a regular battery on. So I always walk around with two batteries. So that's like walking around with 4,200 milliamp battery as opposed to 2,000 milliamp battery and always looking for a charger or carrying that my charger in my pocket, you know, whatever. So when it comes to battery, I'm going with the Galaxy S3. Next, let's talk about displays. The Galaxy S3 has a 4.8 inch Super AMOLED display. The Evo has 4.7 LCD. Which one is better? In my personal opinion, I like the Super AMOLED display better because the blacks look, you know, real dark. The, you know, everything just looks crispy on this. It looks nice. But realistically, I can't, I can't front. The LCD, when you're looking at pictures and stuff, it just looks better. Now, let me see if I can pull up something with the same picture and give you an idea. So let's check on Instagram real quick and see if we can find something, find two of the same pictures. Something with some color in it. Okay, here we go.
Now take a look. See for yourself. These are the same exact picture. I don't know how much this video camera is going to do it justice. But as you can see, on the Super AMOLED, the black is really dark and the colors are, you know, really colorful. But the, the LCD, you, the picture, you can see more detail in the picture. Whatever, you're going to have to take a look at them for yourself and make your own decision. But, like I said, personally, I'm going with Super AMOLED. But for this debate, I'm going to say the LCD has a, a better display. So the Evo wins the display department. Next, let's talk about the sound. Which one has better speakers? Which one is louder? Well, the Galaxy S3 wins in the sound department. Stock. Now, we're talking about not rooting the phone. We're not talking about adding any extra apps and all that. Fresh out the box. The Galaxy S3 is just louder. If you're playing videos and you're playing music or whatever, it comes out louder on the S3 than it does on the Evo. Now, one thing I will tell you, which I was very surprised, keep in mind that everybody knows that the Evo has Beats Audio and all of that. So when you plug your headphones in, you know it's going to be bumping and all that. But now, I've been using them, like I said, from day one. I got to admit, even without the Beats Audio, the Galaxy S3 sounds louder. Now, if I put a set of headphones in and just put on some music right now and put them on with the Beats Audio playing, it's a little bit more bass on this, but it still sounds more crispy. It still sounds better on the S3. So when it comes to the speakers, I'm going with the S3. It has better external speakers, and even without the Beats Audio, it still sounds better when you're playing music through headphones. And I'm talking about good headphones, not the, not the ones that come with it, even though those ones ain't bad. But when I play my, my studios or when I play my, my tours or whatever, when I play them out the S3, it sounds better than when I play them on the Evo with the Beats Audio. So when it comes to you know, the sound, I'm going with the, with the S3. Next, let's talk about the camera. Now, you've seen my camera test video. If you didn't look at that, go look at some of the camera test videos you see for yourself. When it comes to the camera, the video camera, the S3 wins clearly when it comes to the video camera. But when it comes to still pictures, I got to keep it 100. The Evo wins with, with the camera when it comes to still pictures. Now, everybody that rocks with me on Instagram, a lot of people hit me up. And they ask me what camera do I use to take a lot of the pictures I take when I be at the car shows or when I be out in the streets or whatever. And nine times out of ten, I'm using the Evo. Even though I have the S3 in my pocket, sometimes I use the Nexus. But nine times out of ten, when it comes to taking still pictures, the Evo has the best camera that I use yet. Even better than the iPhone. So when it comes to the camera, the Evo wins. But when it comes to video camera, I like the S3 because the sound plays better and it focuses better. You seen them look at the nighttime video camera test for yourself. The focus works better on the S3. So, but overall, if I had to just pick one camera, I'm gonna go with the Evo. Next, the UI. Now, everybody who knows me from back in the days, everybody knows that HTC Sense has been my favorite UI from day one. And let me show you why. All the fancy animations, you know, everything is nice and smooth, everything is colorful. You know, I just like the HTC Sense UI the best. But I gotta keep it a hundred. The TouchWiz has grown on me, and the features on TouchWiz, you know, all of the new little, you know, tweaks and all the features. I'm gonna go out and say right now that TouchWiz is my favorite UI right now. Not only because of all of the little features, but it's a lot of others. Let me just show you a couple of things that I use a lot. Now, some people might call these, you know, some of these features kind of gimmicky or whatever, but a lot of these features that once you start using them all the time, you're gonna use them all the time. You're gonna love them. Like for instance. The swipe to take the screenshot. See, oh, I had the volume down, but take a look closely. Taking the screenshots. Now, when I like to post pictures on Instagram and all that, if I see something cute or something funny online and I want to share it with all my boys or whatever, I use that more than I use the, you know, the stock Android, you know, volume and power button. Once you start using the swipe, you get used to it and I love it. Next, another feature that I really like is when you're sending somebody a text message and you want to call them, all you do is put the phone to your head. Now, for me, I use a lot of text messages. I'm always, you know, I'm always texting. And a lot of times when I'm driving, you know, I'm in the middle of texting or whatever. I just want to you know, start driving. I just got to pick up the phone. So if I'm at a red light or something, I'm sending somebody a quick text or whatever, and I know it's something that I really want to talk about, I don't got to start going into menus and all that. All I got to do is pick the phone up and, and hit them up. So that's a feature I use all the time. And there's a whole bunch of other features. I'm not going to talk about it too long because I don't want this video to be 25 minutes on all that. But trust me, when it comes to the UI, the TouchWiz is my new favorite UI. It has all the features. I use the shake. I use the tap to, you know, tap to bring it to the top when I'm on Twitter and all that. 
everything works on this. So when it comes to UI, I'm going with TouchWiz. Now keep in mind, HTC Sense is no slouch. It's the second best. Both of them, like I said, both of them are wins. But if I have to only pick one, I'm going to go with the new TouchWiz just because I like all of the new features. I, I, you know what I mean? I like options. So I like all of the new features, all of the new options. So I'm going with the S3. Next, let's talk about connectivity and call quality and GPS and all that. Well, both of them, like I said, you know, they don't have 4G. They don't have LTE in my neighborhood yet, at least. I don't know where you live at. But in New York City and Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan and all that, there's no 4G. There's no LTE. So both of them are running 3G. Both of them are decent or whatever. But when it comes to call quality, the S3 wins hands down. Trust me. Now, I've been making phone calls on these all day, back and forth. Call quality, the S3 wins. And let me show you another little trick that's on the S3. A lot of people, I don't know if you pay attention to it or not, and maybe you've never seen it. But let me pull out one of these numbers and just call real quick. All right, now say I'm calling up my man Jimmy from Quest, right? If you notice, look at that little volume ad right there. If you touch that button, you get even more volume. You how loud it got? Now, meanwhile, I wasn't even paying attention. I never even noticed that till one day I just happened to look down and I hit it. Now I'm in love with that. I use that all the time when you're outside in the street. You don't got to be trying to press the phone into your ear to hear. You hit the button, you get extra volume. So I like that. So call quality and all that, I'm going with the S3. Now keep in mind, when I'm underground, both of them are kind of suspect because it's 3G only out here. So both of them are on and off or whatever, but I find more on with the S3 than with the Evo. But when, you know, in your neighborhood, if you got LTE and you got 4G and whatever, you know, hit me up and let me know how it works out there. But New York City, if you got to rock just 3G, I find that the S3 runs smoother and faster than, um, than the Evo. So when it comes to call quality and you know connections and GPS and all that, I'm going with the with the S3, and the GPS on the S3 is is hot. I mean they both pretty much work the same, but I found out a couple of times I was losing signal with the Evo, not not once yet with the S3. Never lost no signal yet when I'm running my GPS, so I'm gonna have to go with the S3. Next, let's talk about smoothness. Now when I say smoothness, that means which one has lag to it. Which one is, you know, just all around smoother? Well, let me start by saying neither one of them have any lag, which is, um, you know, for Android, which is definitely nice for Android phones because everybody knows that, you know, Android is notorious for having lag. But the S3 is 100% lag free. The Evo is 99% lag free. Now, one thing I will say that, I, that, that catches me sometimes is let me know, dudes who got the Evo, let me know if you have this problem. You ever have your phone off? And when you turn it on, sometimes it takes a second to load HTC Sense. That is very, very annoying. And it happened to me the other night. I was at my daughter's show or whatever. Somebody called me up, asked me to do my favor. I said, I can't do it because I'm at my daughter's show. But I looked at my watch right after I hung up. I said, oh, shit, I might be able to do it. So I wanted to hurry up and call them back before they called somebody else. So as I pulled out my Evo and I turned it on, you get that loading. When you're waiting for it to load up HTC Sense. Now, that happens to me at least maybe every other day. At least one time every other day with heavy usage of the Evo. And that's something I'm really not feeling about that or whatever. Never happened on me on the S3. Never. The S3, like I said, 2 gigs of RAM and all that, the S3 runs flawlessly. No lag at all. From the day I got this phone, this phone never lagged yet. And this is Android. So this is how Android is supposed to be. Hopefully all Android phones in the future will always run like this. If all Androids run like this, it's going to be a problem for Apple, it's going to be a problem for BlackBerry, Windows, and all that. They're not going to be able to, to stay in the game if all the new Android phones ran this smooth. Trust me, no lag at all. But like I said, i got to pick one. When it comes to smoothness, I'm going with the S3. Now, the HTC Evo, just as smooth, but every now and then you got to load up that HTC Sense. Catch a little bit of lag here and there if you got too much stuff open. I notice if I got 10 apps open in the background, you might catch a little lag here and there. Not with the S3. And another part of the S3 UI that I'm really feeling that comes in handy is when you hit that home button and you hold it down, you can just remove everything at once and you can also take it to the task manager. That's a major plus. Now on the Evo, when you want to go to your, when you want to go to your multitasking, you can't remove everything at once. You gotta swipe. You know, you gotta swipe every one. And if you got 10 apps open, it's gonna be a lot of swiping. So that's a major plus from the S3 with that remove all feature. That's a go. 
last but not least, my usual last, you know, topic, my usual last category that we always talk about, the floss factor. And if you don't know what the floss factor is, that means which one of these is going to get you more shines. When you're outside in the street and you pull out your phone, is everybody going to look at you like, oh shit, what's that? Or is you just going to be another face in the crowd like this, pulling out an iPhone? When you pull out your iPhone, nobody looks at you, nobody cares, because everybody got an iPhone and everybody's kid got an iPhone. You know what I mean? So, which one of these two got the most floss factor? Well, this one is open for debate. Me, personally, I would say the Evo. Why? Because the Galaxy S3 is on every carrier right now. It's the official Olympic phone. You could go to Verizon, you go to Sprint, you go to T-Mobile. You know, you could go anywhere you want and you could get a Galaxy S3. The Evo, you can only get from Sprint. So what does that mean? Now, when you're at a bar, you're more likely to pull out, you know, see somebody pull out an S3. Basically, in a couple of months, everybody going to have an S3. Everybody who like Android, they're going to have an S3 because they're on all the categories. So whenever something is out there and a lot of people got it, when you have something that a lot of people don't have, you automatically get more shines. So when it comes to the floss factor, I'm going with the Evo. You know, when I pull this out, People see that red back and all that. They already know it's not the Galaxy S3 because you can see the red back. When I have it propped up on the kickstand, you just get more love with the Evo. All right, so when it comes to Floss Factor, I'm going with the Evo. But, like I said, if I had to... Now, this is now this is what comes to my personal opinion. If I got to go in the Sprint store right now, if I didn't have no phone, somebody took all my phones, I don't got nothing, I can only go in the store and buy one phone, what phone would I get right now? And to keep it 100 with y'all, it would be the S3. If I had to walk around with one phone for the whole day, it would be this phone. This phone does everything. It's smooth. It's loud. The camera's good on it. I mean, it's an all-around, top-of-the-line best phone. But that's the good thing about Sprint right now. You actually have a choice. You know, a lot of times you go on Sprint, you don't have a choice. You just got to get the top-of-the-line phone because that's the top-of-the-line one that's out. Nothing else can compare to it. But right now, when you go to Sprint, you actually have a choice. You could get the Evo or you could get the S3. My personal opinion, I'm going with the S3. But, you know, me, I'm going with both. But if I had to pick one, I'm going with the S3. Shout out to everybody that hit me up on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all rocking that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. Special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Shout out to everybody that went out with me on Friday night on Instagram. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I was all over the streets and all that. Hit me up on, on Twitter and all that because I'm about to do another vlog and we're going to get into some other shit. So hit me up with questions, comments, or whatever y'all want me to talk about in the next vlog and we're going to get into that. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. Deuces.